Welcome back to the Trevor Tysman Show, and today I have to review the M220 that I saw at the boat show in Kansas City. It's one of the only boats that Malibu had to offer, but I'm telling you right now, there's one big reason why you should not be buying this boat. We've got that backseat mechanism that everybody seems to be incorporating in their boat models. But let me tell you, the M220, a little bit of a scary concept. You slide the seat out. Of course, you try it 50 different ways. The dealer has to explain to you how to do it, which is another video in itself. But when you get this seat out of the way, you now have your footstep will no longer be off the back pad down into a seat. It'll be down into a gator step or whatever Malibu's brand is of that. But that coating is on top of your hull. And that also is your engine kind of access point. Well, let me tell you, I weigh about 215 pounds. When I step on this, the whole thing bows down about two or three inches. Now, I thought, oh, maybe this is just me. I'm looking around with the other people that uh, are getting into the boat. I take a look. This thing is bowing after every single person steps on it. Of course, then I mentioned this to the guy showing us the boat, and he gets into the boat himself, and he's standing in what looks to be as if a sagged U position, and I am like, you know, eyes wide open, of course. You never want to feel a movement in your boat like that by any means, but to see another guy also that's trying to sell the boat, his response was simple. Well, I never moved that seat anyway, so I don't really have to deal with that. You know, to me, that kind of really threw me because... It's it's a unique design to have that seat that'll slide out. It's kind of a cool experience. You can look out the back of the boat when someone's surfing. I'm on board. I like the idea of it. But I feel like these seats, the execution on the Malibu and all other boat brands, it's not very good. When you slide that seat out, you cannot move around the cockpit whatsoever. Have you never pulled a small child before? You're up and down, moving around, making sure the rope's in the right place for them. You are helping a ton when you are the driver of a boat with small children. Now, if you've got all teenagers, maybe this is a perfect thing for you. But if you've got young kids, let me tell you, this thing is going to be so in the way, taking away access to the back of the boat to be able to move the rope, to tell them they're doing a good job, to give them a little bit of coaching, to help them get better at it. This seat mechanism is just completely in the way. Don't get me wrong. You do not have to move it. I'm just letting you know, there is no way I'm spending over $200,000 on a boat that bows when I walk on it, when I utilize the perk that you're telling me is an amazing perk. Other than that, the M220 comes with the Malibu surf system, and it, I don't know that anybody could really argue it's not the best. It's been patented, and they've kind of licensed it to Cobalt and Chaparral, but overall, their competition in the wake world, everyone is kind of sort of trying to mimic that technology. When you look at the Supra boats, they have a new type of tab system that slides down, and then they have a, another one that moves out to try to smooth out that wave in a similar mechanism that Malibu does. And an awful lot of the other brands are also getting those tabs to somehow manipulate the water as it crosses the boat plane, turning the boat sideways, getting more water displacement is the name of the game. But I don't know that you're really going to find a better wave than a Malibu, you may find something just as comparable as you move through the brands. But, you know, I really do like the cockpit style. That's really important. As you get into the boat as the boat captain, you're probably the guy that paid the bill. You know, I, I get it. Yeah, that's maybe not the way to look at it, but let's be honest. You bought the boat so you could pay for the boat and you need to be comfortable. And one of the cool factors on this boat that I really enjoyed was when you sit in the captain's seat, Right at your right hand, you kind of have access to almost everything just with this small dial. You can switch the wake setting from side to side. You also have a stereo control right there. All things very important when towing. Radio goes up, radio goes down. Radio goes up, radio goes down. Surf side switches from one side, surf side switches to the other side. You know, you're always doing these things. So having them right in the palm of your hand next to the throttle is a, a pretty great um, experience there. Now, this is, it comes with a subfloor ballast system. So, it, you know, at the face of it, that seems great. When I was originally comparing boats, you know, I come from a background moving from a stern drive boat and wanting to give my kids the opportunity to surf in the near future. And even my wife wants to get into surfing. So I am interested 
in the wake boat world, but I don't know if I can take the plunge into a wake boat versus a stern drive with a forward facing prop. Uh, that may be more for me, but I am way open to how fancy and wonderful these boats are, but there are a couple issues that always kind of pull me away. Now the subfloor ballast system seems to be when you're shopping an enormous perk. Let's get all these bags out of the way. Give me a little bit of storage back. You know, if you've ever been on a boat, there's not a time that everybody doesn't bring what seems like a whole trip's worth of things to go to Jamaica and back. I don't know where they get it all, but we've got a full cooler for two or three different families and everybody brought their own cooler. Thank you, Yeti. Thank you, Ozark. Thanks for everyone making a nice backpack cooler that is enormous, that fills up the whole entire floor of the boat. We no longer can share. We've got these mobile ones, right? You know, it can be a little frustrating to be the boat captain and try to find room for everybody's junk. But you also have to have life jackets for all these people. You know, if you're a family of four, family of five, and you invite anyone out, Generally speaking, you're going to be rocking an extra six, seven, or eight life jackets because you've got to be prepared for if they don't have them. So in your boat, you're going to have mass amounts of life jacket storage just taken up area. Extra towels, sunblock, extra food, and then you've got your toolbox and all your types of things that you should probably have just in case you need to fix some things. Now, I know if you buy a surf boat, you may not be interested in tubing. But there's not a little kid in the world that doesn't like to take a spin on a tube. So somewhere in that boat, you're either dragging a tube or you've got it rolled up. And let me tell you, they are enormous these days. So you need storage in these boats. And that subfloor ballast system, though it seems to be an excellent perk, I haven't talked to one dealer, read one blog, moved through any Facebook post whatsoever, someone talking about surfing that doesn't add the additional ballast in it. And what that means is um, you fill up the boat and it has ballast bags, right? If you're familiar with boats, you know, give me a second here. Let me get through this. And if you're not familiar with boats, a subfloor ballast system means that everything is below the deck. If you open up a seat, you're not going to see a ballast bag. But what boats like the M220 has is they have the ability to put bags on top of the subfloor bottom. So imagine you open up the back on the sun lounge, you look down mass amounts of storage of course until you utilize their plumbing for a ballast bag and now when you utilize that extra weight now there's no storage in a lot of those compartments and that's kind of a big drawback i feel in some of these boats is they definitely have given you the ability to make the biggest monstrous wave possible but some of the elements of storage become a little problematic. Uh, you know, I don't know if people just are lean and mean and don't put anything on their boat. And, and maybe that's my problem. Maybe I've just got too much stuff. But to eliminate probably 80% of available storage with more water just seems like maybe there's got to be a better way to make a larger wave. You know, one thing I've always thought is Malibu has the, the gate mechanism that goes down. And what that does is it pulls the bottom of the boat down, adding 1,500 pounds of extra weight. And the reason for that is how the water hits that plate, it pulls the back of the boat down. You would think that there would be some other format of that that you could put on the hull of the boat up and down to be able to drive the boat down farther that would eliminate a lot of the drawbacks that a boat like the M220 has where you really eliminate a boatload of the storage. You know, if you had mechanisms or plates that swing underneath the boat, I know there's a lot of problems that may come with that, with hitting things in the water and different types of things like that. But, you know, there's got to be a better way to make a big wave and not eliminate a lot of the perks as the captain, which you really need a little bit more room to move some areas to store some things rather than these small compartments up in the front of the boat or just one large spot. All it takes is one person to be sitting where you need to go. And now we're, we're all doing a dance trying to get it. Overall, though, the Malibu boat, it just really depends. If you want the best wave in the business, I feel like you need to pick the model or the length that uh, you like. But there are a lot of other options out there that are much cheaper than this boat. I think that forward-facing prop in the next couple years is going to give these wake boats a run for the money. Only for the simple fact that the tying up and swimming, you, as much as you might like a wake boat, 
as soon as you get on a forward drive boat and utilize their rear end experience, when you get out tied up and swimming with the kids, you really can't beat it. It's much more comfortable. Everyone has a place to sit and the kids can swim jumping off the deck. It's a little bit more of an enjoyable experience. Um, I don't mean to be a hater on the Malibu, but I personally would have stopped at step one. If that hole is going to be bending or moving, if I step on it at any point in time, because if you have that seat, you're going to use it. You're going to slide that thing out and you'll set it up a couple times a month and everyone will dance around it. But that thing bending like that, I can't imagine what it's doing to all the compartments around it. I want to get a very sturdy feeling boat that I don't think that anything's moving. And if you're paying the kind of money that you're paying for the Malibu M220, I better be pretty darn satisfied with every element of it. So for me, the 2022 Malibu M220 would not be my boat choice. Uh, If you have any comments below, please let me hear them. I'm pretty familiar with how the boat laid out and everything about it. I would love to get in a discussion about it. I have no problem with that. Uh, But if you like what I'm doing, subscribe to the channel and uh, I'll keep some more coming for you.